So, in this lecture, we would be concentrating on the drug development phase. The drug development is several different varieties of drug, uh, drug development are there. When we talk about new drug discovery and development, the new drug development usually is again divided into two um, aspects. One is preclinical development and clinical development. Preclinical development is a phase of, you know, a phase of development that has to ensure certain aspects before it is allowed to be tested in the human. So, the preclinical development's objectives are like it, we have to discover and develop a patentable drug candidate which is active on the target of relevance. And using that molecule, we can generate data that can give a reasonable estimate of clinical efficacy and safety. Because we, we have to understand this that any molecule that is being used or developed for human use, there are two minimum attributes. One is that it is efficacious, that means it produces an effect in the clinic which is of therapeutic relevance and that while producing that effect, it does not produce other effects which are detrimental. So, that means there is an amount of safety. And in preclinical phase, we would be looking at both efficacy and safety of a particular candidate which is identified as a preclinical development candidate and generate lot of experimental data under good laboratory practices as well as good manufacturing practices and all this data combined together will form an application for testing in the human and this application is submitted to the regulatory authorities and this application is referred to as IND. So, the objective of the Preclinical phase of development is to create data to file a investigational new drug application or IND based on the evidence and if IND is approved then the molecule enters into clinical phase of development for testing first time in the human. Now simultaneously while a new drug is being developed in the preclinical phase there are other aspects of development also come into picture. Now, in general, part of new drug development or these other developments which are drug substance development which is also referred to as API development. Drug substance is API, active pharmaceutical ingredient. This is the chemical molecule that we are developing as a drug and what development is necessary for this molecule is a good process needs to be developed under good manufacturing, the molecule that comes out of this particular, I mean the process should be reliable, reproducible and generate, uh, you know, finally the active pharmaceutical ingredient of an amount of purity which is reproducible. So, what we say is that a good process would produce quality drug product in a reproducible manner and in a cost effective manner. 